Roses are red. They come from the east. Yeah. Yee yee. Today, I'm going to be talking about a game that you have definitely heard of before. And I know you've heard of it because it is literally the biggest game on the market right now. And there's no denying that. This is Apex Legends, and it's Titanfall 3 with Battle Royale with heroes. That simple. Okay? And this game is well, literally kind of amazing okay and i'm gonna try to get I mean, this whole intro done as soon as Boston possible because more. there's so much to talk about okay, this game look, that happens to me all the time. this game is the so much fun okay like I, I haven't had fun in a battle royale in <laughs> like a minute okay ever since battle royales have blown up Shit. after fortnite started hitting Man, like no that oh we're a kids game at this point we're we're literally striving for e for everyone it kind of just got really stale and i really didn't like it um when blackout came out i just didn't find it fun i just found it like extremely boring how everybody just dies so quick and you know that's not really a bad thing because you know you can kind of like make that a skill and you know knowing when somebody's gonna die but i just didn't like it and it's it was a whole different experience for me i i personally didn't enjoy blackout but apex apex is a different story and i think it's the best thing to happen to battle royales since PUBG. and and what i mean by that is it's taking the battle royale genre and it's making it more than just drop in kill people win the game okay like well it's still it's still that same premise which is good it's good because it works you know it's not like it's not like oh jump in and then you know complete these set of tasks and then kill people and then win the game no it's jump in kill people win the game okay but then it also throws in a special element that makes it skill based but not skill based to the point where you're terrible if you don't use it like fortnite has building right like if you're bad at building you're gonna lose every game no doubt but if you're good at building or if you're even half decent at building you're gonna do well half decent and it's like that with with this game it's like if you know how to use a hero you use the hero and you'll do good if you don't know how to use the hero you'll use them incorrectly and you'll just end up well, doing bad because you don't know how to use the hero and it's not like the hero is the most important thing i mean you can go and not use a hero's abilities or not know how to use a hero and do good and i think that's one of the best parts of the game is that i can use bangalore who is someone that i personally dislike i can use bangalore and never use her smoke screen ability and never use her rolling thunder and i can still do good in a game i can still place top three top two simply because of the fact that it's it's more than just my hero that determines me it's more than just my guns also because think i can i can be a good pathfinder right but if i play pathfinder and i zip line over to a couple enemies and then i take out my r99 and i shoot and i spray and i miss everything then i'm trash and someone who doesn't play apex that might have just sounded like a bunch of the random mumbo jumbo it's but right there it's right there There's just no know I see people, I see people, that people. that's not good okay I think they might be but this game does a lot of too. things right uh I, i've seen some reviews on it and it, it all said the same thing and i had been feeling the same way everything is extremely streamlined like the combat is extremely streamlined like it's it's simply just go shoot kill loot and then repeat okay and like that that simplicity is kind of good you know just like look right here i kill someone i bring back my friend and then i go and loot 
Yeah, and looting doesn't take camp, that long. And it's all so amazing. It's all so streamlined. So then, right after this, I can loot. I can just attach things Everybody to my gun. I can get the... I can heal up. I can get everything that I need. I can use the abilities that I need to use. And I can get back into another fight. Right? And the games, they, they're kind of long. But they don't feel long at all. Like, ask anybody who plays this game. It's going to tell you how long you survive. And it's going to say, like, 18 minutes. You're going to be like... 18 minutes I feel like I got into like two fights and and trust me that might sound like a bad thing but it's not like getting into two fights is that's actually that'd be a pretty poor game. but besides the point like it's it's so streamlined that you just fight and then when you're done and it tells you your time you're like there's no way like i've seen myself where where like i'll play i'll be playing in a match and then something will happen like one of my teammates will go down and i'll rest them and then at the end of the game somebody will be like bro you're so trash we even had to res you and i'm like that's that was this game that's the same game like we're still in the same match no but that felt so long ago and then i checked the time and it's like it says like 18 minutes or that's that's usually around the time 18 to 15 minutes i'm like what that's crazy and like everything is just so fluid and i love that i'm not i'm doing oh my god i messed them up and you know what I don't love though? Right here. Right here. The no numbered the no numbered health. So in this game there is two bars. There is your health bar and there is your shield bar. And you get your shield bar by picking up a colored shield, a colored set of body armor from common to gold. And it gives you different levels of armor and then you can use those levels of armor to well protect yourself and blah 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 it blocks bullets you die less fast but there's something about it that when i first got in i really dislike there's no number on your shield or on your health so if i get up i don't know what my health is i just know that it's not a major percentage of the bar and so that i should heal up right you got that whole squad over there like if I only get, if somebody shoots me, right, and I kill them, and they don't touch me again, and they take off a piece of my shield, I cannot tell how much shield I have, right? So then I just go, and I'm like, oh, well, I guess I'll stay with this amount of shield until I find some more shield to use. So then I just sit there with a unnumbered amount of shield. And that, that's something that I find really annoying because then when I'm... Then when I'm healing and I need to use these little energy cell things that give me 25, I don't know how many I'm going to need until I sit there, pull it out, see how much it's going to heal me, and then decide, do I want to use it or do I want to save it? No, it should be like, okay, you have, I think it's 100 at max shield and 200 at max health, or 100 at max health, I'm, I'm not too sure, but all I know is that it's, it's a lot, you have a lot of health. And that brings me into my next point. You have a lot of health. <laughs> it's extremely hard. Not let me not say it's extremely hard to kill people because that just makes me sound trash. But do you see him? Sometimes if you have guns that aren't good, like for example, the gun called the accelerator or the P2020. I'll use the P2020. It has 20 bullet clip it has a 20 bullet clip okay and each bullet hits for 12 damage it is a semi-auto pistol that shoots 20 bullets for 12 damage each that's not good so you pull up on someone right behind them you shoot them for 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 and you can sit there for days just 12 12 12 oh they're dead and then if they're down and you go boom 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 you can sit there for days you literally sit there for days shooting them for 12 damage when they have a, like 150 hp who is it gonna pick for carlo it's so beyond me that the p2020 is that bad and it does no damage and it's like that with a lot of other guns like guns like the longbow that are hard to hit shots with 
do no damage. Hey, Carlos. That makes no sense. If a gun hey. shoots, like, extremely slow, it should be able to just... It should pack a punch. It should be doing 55 damage on a body shot. That's so stupid. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So, know. that that's... And the last problem that I have with this game is the servers. No, I have my okay. on 20 And minutes, the reason that so. I'm kind of iffy about this problem is because well it's not really their fault i mean yeah the their servers aren't no, great right now members, but also it was reported that us. they hit 10 million players and this game had no Don't initial race, had no press anymore. before it came Try out so i highly doubt they were expecting to hit 10 million players in a few days so that's why, like, I, I was kind of holding off on this criticism because, I mean, servers, they're kind of easy to fix. Uh, you know, it's whatever. All I have is but a right now, the servers, I run into a lot of problems. Holy like, shit, I'll, I'll just be shit. playing with my Dude, friends and then we'll load out of a shotgun? game. Really? And out of nowhere, so one, of the, one of them will take oh forever God, to get out of the game. And I'm like, bro, me. leave the game. And they're like, it's not me leaving. I left. It's just saying that I got an error. Or one of my friends on, will start the game loony. and will be Die, flying in killed. and then he'll drop a checkpoint and then it says an error has occurred in the following careful, application. Which I mean isn't really the right game now. servers, but still and oh, then yeah, he leaves Negro, and it's a lot of it's just a mess. Like I find it so annoying when matter, I'm playing with a friend Lewis. and then there is a five minute There's mark no between rate. games. She's so short. Because they have to close their like, app look, your head barely gets a, because they get stuck like on the main screen. Which is actually something that happens a lot. Like, like you don't, you don't feel they'll like load into a game, the they'll play right a game, now. and then no. it'll say, it'll say, oh, an error has, a, or you cannot connect yeah. to our service, to our servers. Oh, an error has occurred in your connection to EU servers, you, or something you, around you, those lines. And then it's like, well. Ha! Like what happened? It doesn't really tell you. It's not telling you that it's your internet or that it's it's their servers. It's just like you cannot connect to our servers. So then you just kind of sit there like, okay, and then you just keep retrying. And yeah, I mean it's not really that big because servers can be fixed. You know, yeah. So can all the other issues, but I feel like those are gonna be fixed later. Uh, it's it's kind of just a whatever. It's just a big inconvenience, and so it's kind of a problem. But yeah, that's kind of like my only two problems. Is that like there's no number on my health or my shield, and that guns do nothing. I feel like guns just do nothing. Like even in this clip. Look, look, I light him up. I light him up. That's the accelerator. I hit that one guy for like 180. And he didn't die, which means that we have 200 health. Right? Or at least I think. But then other people, I shoot for like 50 damage and they're dead. It's stupid. And so then, I don't know how much damage I have to do to someone. And I don't know how much damage they have to do to me. And that's something that I don't like. Anyway, the game's free, so if you want to know what it's like to play it, you can try it out yourself. It's literally free on, I think, every platform. Uh, it's it's free. Go try it for yourself. It's a lot of fun. Trust me, it's it's gonna you're gonna love it. Okay, especially if you enjoyed PUBG or you enjoyed Blackout or even if you didn't. Like, even if you didn't enjoy either of those, which I didn't, I didn't enjoy back Blackout, I didn't play PUBG, so, and I still love this game, so, yeah, um, other than that, I mean, I really like the game, I think the game has a lot of potential, and it's really fun, even in its early stages, I just want to see how they can keep it up, and keep it interesting for a yeah, long time, is there going to be a story, I, I don't know, you through thick but and yeah, but guess what? Um, go check out my other video on why 
I can't really play this game I literally chased him for so fucking because long of reason. issues that I discuss in the video. Course. Um, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and it's been your boy Purple. Toodaloo. It says I'm still in your fucking thing.